Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. We got this, Spider-Man. Thanks anyway. Spider-Man, the situation's under control. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly. But also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like.
He's not out here. Better check inside. Good thing I stopped this when I did. You could blow up half of Manhattan with this stockpile. Voice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. Wasn't enough. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. No, but I found something we should look into a place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things! Down! Down! Code SM1, 
Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Yuri, explanation, please? This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force, paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Sorry about that stable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. Might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? Just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you huh. okay. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Voltage lines. 
What needs this much power? There. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Looks like this note is for May. Lee's journal. A key. Wonder where the lock is. Lee did so much for New York. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? He needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. Yeah. 
It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. One more. had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscar. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Hey, just you go, can you... in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. The thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner. Huh. 
What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool! Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Um, uh, okay. Uh, be right there. I wonder if this means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by. Just for a minute. Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um... Well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid? I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You'd think these people never saw a guy jogging on walls. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long.
Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. We're trying to improve the prosthetic's hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double-check his work. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. repeating the same mistake over and over. Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. Uh. 
That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. There's the testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. It didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. Another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready?
Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. Uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let me let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Advanced idea mechanics? Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. What's that? Sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. We've got a 1010 narcotics in progress. Incident is active near Times Square. Proceed with caution. Seriously, I want one. Drug deals and criminals. They go together like cookies and milk. are like little kingpins in training. So cute! Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drug. 
Police are on their way. And so am I. An armed explosive is evading pursuit. Officers needed in the garment district. Get it out of here. Bet you ten to one those guys didn't even have licenses. Camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know bad boys aren't my type. doing this for me. You know I'm gonna catch you. Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill.
here. You are not going to believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. I need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? I bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Need to get this guy out of my way. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We build this war base for you. Finances the boss's new venture. Win win. Well, you better Yo, clean your slag off that sloppy well. If boss sees that, he'll be pissed. Need to get into that office. You tried any yet? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. The hell was that? Wait! So what's the boss doing with the money from this Lee job? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? You tried any yet? Careful. I heard something. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Hey, who is that? What is this? Some kind of millet office must be to my right. I need to move careful through here. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Seeing things. seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss! Come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Won't notice. 
cousin won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. And now I need a new welder. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored airwick? GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee...